Me la vamos, bo. A mí 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 a The Shingu River, one of the most important rivers in all of South America, 2,271 kilometers, flowing from Mato Grosso to the Amazon River. It is home to more than 40 ethnic groups, totaling 25,000 indigenous people. Grave danger is predominantly facing this region of the Amazon Basin. The construction of the world's third largest hydroelectric dam Led by Dilma Rousseff and the rest of the Brazilian government, the Belo Monte Dam is designed to divert 80% of the river's water flow, which will devastate an area of more than 1,500 kilometers. The construction will directly affect the land and life of thousands of rivers and people, both urban and indigenous. It is planned to, quote, improve the living conditions for the local communities and strengthen the environmental protections in the area, end quote. In February of 2010, the Belo Monte Dam project received a provisional license that would abide to the requirements of the following. Water quality, wildlife preservation, sanitation, local population impact, social compensation, and recovery of previously degraded areas. The irony is that of these requirements, some of the most important ones, like wildlife preservation and local population impact, will not be met. For the resourceful freshwater species that live in the rivers, the dam will worsen the quality of water, impacting the health of the river communities. The damage that will be done to these communities will be irreversible. The construction of this dam will immediately result in the ecocide of this region of the Amazon, forever leaving its catastrophic impact. The construction of this dam requires the use of 1,500 square kilometers of Amazon rainforest and river. More earth and rock will be dynamited and excavated than for the construction of the Panama Canal. This movement of rock will create numerous stagnant pools of water, thus catalyzing the growth and spreading of malaria and other waterborne diseases, creating more danger for the indigenous people. Furthermore, 100 kilometers of the 2,271 kilometers of the Shingu River will be permanently dried out. The result will be devastating to the endemic freshwater species. Species like the zebra pleco fish and the white blotched river stingray may even become extinct in the coming years. Finally, the most detrimental effect, not only on the Amazon, but on the world, our precious earth as a whole, will be the flooding of the forest. Out of the 1,500 kilometers 400 square kilometers of rainforest will be flooded permanently. With the flooding of the present vegetation and undergrowth, the levels of carbon dioxide and methane emissions will exponentially grow. This will happen due to the rotting of vegetation, which will ensuingly convert carbon dioxide removed from the atmosphere through photosynthesis into methane, resulting in a greater impact of global warming. This ill-conceived project will have enormous negative impacts upon the world, but particularly Brazil, especially its water resources, regional climates, natural ecosystems, ecological sustainability, and the future potential for sustainable advancement by its indigenous people. The potential chaos that this project has proposed is beyond daunting. The earth as we know it may never be the same. Here in the great temperate deciduous forest of North America, we have every 17 years a great phenomenon, the hatching of the cicada eggs.
Ten? Not one hundred, but thousands upon thousands of them. Ah, here. We have an unlucky fellow. Poor bugger. Well done. Here we have a great old one. Seventeen years of waiting, and finally, he is ready to do his sole purpose. They come out every seventeen years after sucking on a stem for so long, finally hatch, mate, and then die. Amazing. Watch.